Yaho, 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 yaho. Welcome to my channel, everyone. I am Mr. Super Yankee. And in today's video, I just wanted to talk about live streaming and YouTube and Twitch. I've been doing these things for quite a while. And what I do this for is that I want people to know that they have an ally along their journeys. Because I want allies along my journeys. That's how I see everyone that comes and interacts with me online. There are people that are stepping into my timeline, into my world, to say hello or to say some mean comment or whatever, but it's just the thought of being able to hear someone out there who is like, hey, I'm willing to invest myself in you if you're willing to invest yourself in me. And I think it's wonderful. That's what I think makes online interaction so great. I think it's like the six degrees of separation coming true and that's a real concept i remember this one time i went to epcot and i was just talking to all these people i was like how do you say it's a lovely day in your language and i talked to maybe like 100 people that day and then one of the people i talked to knew one of the people in the city i was going to work in the next month in japan and then when i went to the city and i went to like the first meeting the guy was like you're super ganky and i'm like wait how did you know that and he was like my friend at epcot told me about you and I was like, whoa, it's six degrees of communication. But that's what the internet provides. We can talk to many different people all around the world. However, I think there's a problem with how some people perceive what this interaction is. This interaction does not replace in-person actions. It's easy to get online and just talk to people who are presenting themselves to you because that's their job. They're talking to you as an audience member, not an interpersonal relationship. And if we really want to work on developing ourselves and developing our, our skills of human communication, we need to practice talking to people in real life because that's where we see body language. That's where we get a true general gauge of authenticity because everyone online, even me, has a persona they're trying to push. Now, for me, I like to say that I'm just myself on camera, but I want to be better than just myself on camera. So I'm going to be working from now on to develop a better persona for all you lovely people. But I just wanted to say this, don't spend so much time online. And I know it's hard, especially nowadays because everything is closed with like coronavirus. But I think this is a time to start getting hungry, to start getting ready to go back out in the world and start talking to people. If you haven't talked to people very often before coronavirus happened, you're probably not gonna wanna talk to people after coronavirus is over, after the world opens back up. But I think that this is becoming ever more important in our lives. Because if we don't learn these human social skills, it's like these little tiny things that we don't address when they, because we feel like they don't really matter in the, um, the early steps of life. But then when we get into the later steps of life, when our priorities start to change, we're gonna start wondering why we never took the time we never took the time to put in the effort to be able to develop our social skills. And that's something that I don't think that online platforms present. So in today's video, I just wanna tell you that I know it's hard. Sometimes you feel down and like whenever I'm feeling down, I never go to friends for help. I'm always like, I have to deal with this by myself because it's, it's my battle and like, oh, my life. But reach out to people and I know, I know it's hard. Again, I just said this, but I just think back to all those times that I've been struggling and haven't reached out to people and I've tried to take on life by myself and I've failed demonstrably. I've given into the self-destructive habits. I've given into the negativity. I've given into the pessimism always as just a precursor to get back to work. But a precursor to action never has to be negativity or pessimism. It can just be reaching out, talking to someone, letting someone know that you're still here. And believe me, people out there want to help you. They do. They just don't want to help you as much as they want to ask you if you need help. That's the thing, because a lot of us, we have to take our own problems into our own hands. We can't expect other people to want to deal with our problems. You know, I'm, <laughs> this is, so, so, so me, because I'm always the message sender amongst my friends. And it's interesting, I usually get like 70% replies to all the messages I send, but I send like 200 messages, right? And I'm always wondering why these people never message me, but that's because this is the human experience. We're all 
going through this and maybe just because you're not willing to reach out doesn't mean that other people aren't willing to reach out but that's the thing like if you're not willing to reach out if you're having these thoughts like oh it's my it's my it's my problem i gotta deal with it other people are probably having the same thoughts as well and that could be the reason why no one's reaching out to each other because the vibe has become a sacred cow but i think i think that people want to help you challenge the vibe they want to help you slay that sacred cow the problem is that you got to reach out first because we all have a deep-seated need in our hearts in our souls for human communication so if you're watching this video right now i implore you when the world opens back up wherever you're at go out and start making in human communication attempts and in human relationships and practicing your social skills because it's going to pay dividends into your future anyway everyone that's the video for right now hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one bye bye